I've just found a brand new way to create a custom email address and it's totally free. It's called Skiff and it's a relatively new platform that features end-to-end -end encryption for all your emails. So how does Skiff work and how do you connect your own domain to it? Skiff was launched in 2020 and it's a privacy first suite of apps with email, cloud storage, documents, and calendar built in. You can create a free your name at skiff.com email address, but you can also connect your own domain and make a custom email all for free. I like Skiff because it's a Google alternative that offers increased privacy and security. Skiff has paid plans with more features, so they're not relying on harvesting user data to stay in business. And Skiff is one of the only platforms where you can get a completely custom email address hosted for free. Before choosing Skiff, there is one thing you need to be aware of. Skiff mail cannot be accessed through a third-party email client. This means the only way you can check your email is in the Skiff web interface or using their apps for iOS, Android, Mac, or Windows. Skiff has done a great job building out their apps, and I think it makes sense that they don't support third-party clients since it's end-to-end -end encrypted. But make sure you try the free version of Skiff using an at skiff.com email address so you can poke around in the web interface and make sure you like it before you connect your domain name. I decided to take the plunge and migrate my personal Gmail address to a custom email hosted by Skiff. I've always felt stuck to Gmail because changing my email address across hundreds of accounts is a daunting task, but I realized that if I'm going to be changing to a custom email address, I can change email hosts at any time in the future and I'm not going to have to change my email again in my accounts. So I realized that it was worth it to just put in the hard work and change my email address in all my accounts slowly so that I can finally be free from the chains of Gmail. If Skiff doesn't work out, that's okay. I can change email hosts and not have to change my email address in any of my accounts. I can keep the same custom email. But enough about Skiff, let me show you how to get started with your custom email. Start by going to skiff.com and click start for free. Here, we need to create an at skiff.com email address. And I know we're trying to create a custom email with a domain, but this is something that you have to do in order to get started with Skiff. Now you're gonna create a password and click next. It's then gonna give you a password recovery key and you have to click download key in order to proceed to the next step. And this is probably a good thing because this key is the only way back into your account if you ever were to lose your password. So keep it in a safe area. Now enter a recovery email and this is probably going to be something like the Gmail address or whatever email you're coming from. Click continue. And now we have the opportunity to download the mobile app or desktop app and get credits, but don't worry, you can actually skip this step. And if you download them later, you will still get the $10 credit. So I'm gonna skip for now. You can also turn on browser notifications if you want them. Once again, I'm gonna skip for now. Now we have the opportunity to create email aliases. These are separate emails people can reach you at to help keep your inbox organized and protect your identity. And the cool thing about these aliases is you can actually reply back through them and send email from that address. So it's not just an email forwarding service, it almost functions like a separate inbox, but it still all funnels into your main inbox. You can filter by aliases if you need to, but I've never seen anything like this. You could actually create a dedicated alias just for an account, receive mail at it for that service, and if you're ever getting spammed by someone and you can't unsubscribe from the list, you can just cut off the email alias and not deal with those emails anymore. Since we are working on connecting a domain, I'm not going to add any at skiff.com email aliases because we'll need to add aliases later for our domain name specifically. So I'm going to skip for now. And now we have the opportunity to finally connect our domain. Skiff gives you the option of purchasing a domain name through them and automatically setting it up. And this sounds great on paper but there are a few downsides. First, Skiff does not disclose the renewal price. When you step through the wizard, everything says first year next to the price, and they don't tell you what it's going to cost to renew it. I reached out to Skiff for clarification, and they said this is because they're a GoDaddy reseller, and you know how I feel about GoDaddy, and because of this, GoDaddy could choose to raise the price at any time, and therefore your renewal price the following year may be more expensive. Now, this is kind of just how it goes in the world of domains. Registries can raise the price and every registrar therefore can also need to raise the price, but I really don't like GoDaddy and they would be especially likely to inflate the price year over year. 
Also, you have to reach out to Skiff Support if you want to add additional DNS records to point your domain to your website, or if you ever want to transfer your domain out from Skiff. Hopefully, Skiff will add better controls for the in-house domains in the future, as I really want to like this automatic setup, but right now, I would recommend sticking to purchasing a domain somewhere else and manually linking it with Skiff. I'm going to be using Porkbun to register my domain and Cloudflare to manage my DNS. Once you've gone to Porkbun or another registrar and registered your domain name, go to cloudflare.com and sign up for a free account. Enter an email address and then select add a website or application. Enter your domain name and click continue. Then scroll down to the free plan and select the box. I promise the free plan does exist. You just need to look for it on the page. After this, you'll see an overview page. Scroll down and take note of these two name servers for your account. Now you can click DNS in the sidebar. We need to get the records from Skiff, so go back, enter your domain and click next, then copy the DNS records one by one into Cloudflare. This is important. When copying the CNAME records, you'll need to disable the Cloudflare proxy. You can do this by flipping the switch to off under proxy status. After you do this, the CNAME record should say DNS only. If you accidentally leave the proxy on, the setup is going to fail and you are going to get an error and skiff, so double check this setting. When you're finished copying all of the records, click continue and skiff. Now you can copy both name servers into the Porkbun dashboard by clicking edit under authoritative name servers. Submit it at Porkbun and click done and finally check name servers at Cloudflare. At this point, your domain is in the verification stage and may take a few hours for the DNS to propagate. After your domain has finished verification, you can create a custom email address using your domain name by going to settings and organization and clicking your user. Here we have this option for new email address and it's at yourdomain.com. I will just say hi at mydomain.com and click add. And yes, I'd like to add an alias. Now, in order to set this as the primary email address on the Skiff account, you want to go where it says aliases and click the three dots right here next to your email and click set default. At this point, your custom email with Skiff is ready to use. You can create custom aliases under your domain name by going to settings and going to the alias screen. And when you add an alias, you can decide whether it's at skiff.com or at yourdomain.com. In a way, it's kind of like adding an entirely new inbox. In fact, I think this is what Skiff might be doing in the background. And this is another potential reason why they're not able to support third-party email clients. Because how would aliases work? Everything would just have to come to your main email. But with Skiff aliases, having the segregation within your inbox and being able to reply back through the alias is so powerful. And when you connect your custom domain, you can generate unlimited aliases on your domain name. You're limited to five or 10 aliases, something like that for at skiff.com email addresses. But as long as you connect your domain, you can create as many as you want. You could create an alias for each online account you have. After getting familiar with Skiff, it's a good idea to enable two-factor authentication to protect your account. To do this, go to settings and security, then click enable next to two-factor authentication. It's gonna ask for your password, and now you have the option of enabling app-based two-factor authentication or pairing a security key. Unfortunately, if you do select the hardware security key, it gives you an error saying you have to enable the app-based two-factor authentication first. And this is one of the biggest downsides to Skiff for me. I always say that your account is only as strong as its weakest link, and I personally believe that physical security keys are stronger than app-based two-factor authentication. But because Skiff is forcing me to set up app-based 2FA to add my physical security key, I feel like I may as well not even bother with the security key. I would love to see Skiff add the ability to use a physical security key as the only method of two-factor authentication for your account, and I also would love to see them add support for passkeys. Since your primary email is arguably the most important account to secure online, this is why I'm so particular about two-factor authentication and passkeys and keeping the account locked down. If someone were to get into your primary email, they can start resetting your password on a bunch of websites and they have the reset password links because they're in your email. 
email. So I don't know about you, but I want Fort Knox security for my email. Skiff offers a ton of value in their free plan. The fact that you can get a no strings attached custom email address hosted for free is nuts. And Skiff is growing and evolving in real time. I've watched them rapidly make changes and add new features over the past year that I've been aware of their platform. There's a handful of things that are missing or don't work in Skiff, such as support for HTML email signatures. The auto forwarding from Gmail is also glitchy. Sometimes I get emails forwarded almost immediately immediately, and other times it takes quite a while. I also don't like how the split view and the desktop app cuts off the subject line of an email if you stretch the email window to give it more room. I personally like how Spark and other email clients do it where you can see the subject line even with the thin little sidebar and you have more real estate for your email where in the split view and skiff, I feel like I have to give my emails half of the screen and it just feels goofy. But I know Skiff will continue to improve, and it shows with their commitment to acting on user feedback on their canny page. I'm so excited about what Skiff is doing that I'm finally ditching my personal email address and moving to a custom email hosted by Skiff. I see a lot of benefits to this. I'm finally taking away a huge chunk of my personal data from Google. And by migrating away from an at gmail.com address, I retain full freedom over where my email is hosted until the end of time and that feels great. When I'm done going through the painful, probably years long process of updating my email address across hundreds of accounts, I'll never have to do it again. Even if Skiff were to go out of business or I decided I just didn't like them, I can change hosts on the back end while retaining my custom email address. This is because I control the domain. So I'll never have to change from at AOL.com to at Yahoo.com and then 10 years later change from at Yahoo.com to at Gmail.com. I can switch web hosts and never update my email address on a single account again. It's also great that I can represent myself with my own custom domain name in my personal email address. There's so many options when it comes to domains, and I've done a ton of research to find the most affordable, feature-rich places to buy a domain name. I have an entire video comparing the top domain registrars that you can check out here.